Hi, in this video, I will teach you how to use ImageJ in order to process confocal microscopy data. So you have a data of confocal microscope, a confocal microscope image. The confocal microscope would give you a composite image of all the channels. And now for representing it in a paper, you have to do uh, a lot of processing. You have to split the channels. So let's open one data. So uh, here we will open one data, one image of confocal, a composite image. So here you can see, after clicking on the image and open, the image would open. So this is the confocal image, uh, RGB image. You can see it says RGB and it also gives the pixel value of this particular image. And now what we would do, we would split the channels and see what what is in green and what is in red and then we would give a merge and we would place three side by side for better understanding so in order to perform this thing first we have to get to image and then colors there we have to change the option to make composite so when we make it composite now you, you can see there are three separate channels are there combined each other R G and B you can see in the header it's in blue and then you can see it's in green now you can see it's in red and now we would go again to image toolbar and then we would go to color and then split channels when we press the button split channels it would split the channels so this is the channel for black and this is the channel for blue and in our image there is nothing stained in blue color that is why we don't have this particular thing so we don't have to represent it we just forget about it then in green channel we have something and the red channel will have something and probably these are neurons and these are some particular protein stained with a particular antibody and now we want to represent this thing first this image then this particular image and after that we want to represent a merge image of these two then we have to do what one thing we have to open again the image now we have three particular image that we want to use now what we would do we would go again image and stack option and in the stack option we would say uh, press image to stack so it would stack all these images and we would press OK. So after pressing OK, you would see all our three images are now stacked on each other. First we have the red one, R, then we have the green one. We don't have the B channel because we deleted the channel and now we have the composite one. And then what we would do, we would represent it side by side and in equal ratios so that one could understand in much better way. So in order to do that, we would again go to the image toolbar. Then we would uh, go to stacks and there is an option for make montage. So we would click that option make montage. And it would ask you a lot of questions. First column three. Yeah, we want to make it one row and three columns. And we would change the scale factor. Usually scale factor denotes the quality. Then there are other sizes then font size font size you can set and okay and then we have to click on okay when we click on okay it would take some time as you can see the image is processed over here and now you can see side by side all the three images so here all the three images were stacked and for representation in paper here all the image is in a montage format where we have first a red channel then a green channel then two channel mixed up in a composite it would be merged then we would label these each uh, panels for better understanding i hope this video helped you if you like my video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please share and leave your comments below. Thank you.